so now what we are going to to do is uh, what we want next is the output uh, to make a calculation uh, of the differential equation we use uh, a function which is first we call it output and then as data uh, frame we want to frame the result of this function be uh, a function of the state values and the function itself which is our sir model and then our parameters okay so this is the library we are loading the library then the population the state values the parameter our sin model and our output then we're going to see the output and here as you see it's our output and the output is the time so the days until up to 100 and for the susceptible the infected the recovery as you see uh, the susceptible starting in and to, from the total population minus one one are the infected and we have with, uh, at the beginning we have zero recovered so and we are going to frame it uh, in a plot so after this what we need to do is to ask for another output this output we're going to call it output full because this uh, output will be um, uh, needed to um, calculate uh, the compartment, the proportion of, the comp of each compartment. To, to do this, we need to output uh, a new output, which is a melt of our data frame. Of the output in uh, time show you how it is just slightly changed this way so anytime I've got uh, that this is S and then this is I and then this is R so this is uh, it would uh, would be useful to uh, make it, uh, a calculation of the proportion. The proportion would be the the output full that we just have calculated of its value divided by the sum of the state values okay now we are going to to do our first plot and our plot uh, we will use ggplot2 we have used reshape2 to, to, for melt uh, function and everything so we use ggplot2 to make the plot of what of what are our data uh, first things it output and then the um, our axis will be x equal to time and y equals to the infected for example if i want to the to see how the, 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 the important part for us is to see how the infected behave. Uh, and this is a SIR model, very basic one. So we can run these things that we just have uh, built. 
like the output full and the proportions and then see our first plot so here is our first plot showing us the highest point will be our no which is the highest level of infection okay and it will be here just a bit early of the 50 days see this later so this is our first plot second plot that we want to see is um, is the plot of the output full as you can see here is our uh, SIR model and uh, this is the infection, the curve of the um, infected, this is the curve of the susceptibles and this is the curve of the recovered. This will be the highest values of uh, uh, infection and it's just the same as um, this one here. Calculation of the reproduction number we do take the output and then we create a new uh, variable ref and this is made uh, with uh, parameters uh, beta divided by gamma and then uh, this is timed by the uh, survivors divided uh, so the proportion of survivors basically so this will be our uh, eff um, effective reproduction number we are going to calculate um, our R naught R no will be R zero, which is given by beta div divided by gamma, and this will show us its highest level of infection. So that we're going to to plot everything out this way to add a line and another geom line okay. and then time is in days just as the same as here uh, we want to change this a bit okay uh, title and we say past what uh, the um, reproduction number with um, beta as we have uh, our beta And this will be, we don't need this. Ah, and there you go. Okay, here is our uh, ref, the effective uh, reproduction number in green. And then you can see actually the points and uh, the spline. You can see how it changed, how it goes down uh, in time. And this is our Arno. Uh, it started at two. That means that one person can, on average, infect other two. So this is all for today. I'll see you for the next uh, video when we're going to add some population turnover and uh, maybe vaccination and treatment. Bye now.